Are you going to fall? Uh-oh, don't do it. Don't fall off the couch. This has been our morning. He gets on the side of the couch and says, fall, fall. And I say, don't do it. Don't fall off the couch. And then he proceeds to fall. But it's the slowest fall ever. You did it! And then he falls. And that's our morning. You falling? Are you gonna fall? Look at his little sass. I can't. So yeah, that's our morning. We're just kind of hanging out. I haven't been vlogging a lot lately because we have not been doing anything. It's been so boring here. There's been, I mean, it's cold, so we can't go out a lot. The only place we could go to are indoor. Anthony's working this weekend. We don't have any weekend plans. And my mom's group hasn't really been doing any events that we can go to. So we've just been literally just <laughs> trying to entertain ourselves. We go to the stores for fun. And I buy things, which that probably isn't good, but Target is my favorite. But it's like, what else can you do? So yeah, we're just entertaining ourselves by falling this morning. So it is 10 a.m. in the morning, and we are taking a bath, even though we took one last night. Because um, Grayson, I gave him jelly toast for breakfast and he decided to put the jelly in his hair. And so it was all like, his hair was pink and it was um, rough, like hardening from the jelly. So we decided to take a bath. And Gray loves bath, so he was excited for that. I just washed his hair. I didn't do a body wash because I literally just did that this evening. Grayson got Anthony's skin and so it he gets dry skin really easily and so I constantly am putting Aquaphor on him after baths because otherwise like his skin gets very dry and then itchy and then he itches himself and then it gets red and it's just terrible. I don't have that problem. Sometimes in the winter, my hands will get dry after I get out of a shower, but that's really it. Sometimes my face will get dry too, but other than that, like I don't usually have any issues with dry skin, but Anthony has a lot of dry skin. So unfortunately, Grayson got that from dad, but yeah, so I just did his hair. I didn't do his body, but he's having fun with our little cup. So I wanted to tell you guys this story. Anthony came home from work last night and he was like, hey, uh, if I had an opportunity to go on another business trip to Japan, could I say yes? And I was like, when? And he was like, um, it would be Saturday for two weeks. I'm like, you mean Saturday that's in like two days? He's like, yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> Dude, that's so last notice. Like, we have plans, we have things going on. Like, I don't want to have to be without you for another two weeks. And you just went on two business trips, once in November and once in January. You do not need to go again. Like, that's ridiculous. He was like, okay. He was like, yeah. I mean, people were saying, keep saying no to it because they're worried about the coronavirus that's in China. But, you know, I'm not that worried about it. And I was like, People are saying no to this trip because they're worried about getting the coronavirus and you're going to say yes? No, it's a definite no. Like, no, absolutely not. He's like, oh, come on. The coronavirus, there's just as much in the U.S. as there is in Japan. Like, I would be fine. I was like, okay, but the U.S. is way bigger than little Japan. Like, you have a much easier chance of getting it because it's a much smaller country. And he was like, oh, what? it would be fine. I was like, no. So he just texted, yeah, white. The bathtub is white. 
So he just texted me like, yeah, uh, the third guy just said no now and they offered the trip to me, but I said no. I was like, oh, Anthony, if there's three people all say no because of this virus and you're gonna say yes, like absolutely not. Like Honda is a great company, but honestly, I feel like they just want what they want done. They don't really care if Anthony gets the coronavirus or not. And Anthony was like, well, if I get it, I mean, then I would just be quarantined for two weeks and then I wouldn't have to work and I would get paid for it. I'm like, yeah, but you would be, that would be another two weeks away from me and Gray. You would be living the high life and you would be gone for like a month. Absolutely not. So I told him, no, you are not gonna go and get this coronavirus. I'm pregnant. What if you get it, you don't know you have it and then you pass it to me and I'm pregnant. No, we're not risking that. So. Oh, what am I gonna do with him? He loves Japan so much and I get it, but like, dude, this is health risk. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Are you cleaning up? So I taught him the cleanup song and he sings it, but he doesn't do anything. He makes me have to clean up. Open and shut. Uh, What's wrong? <coughs> clean up, clean up. Oh, splash, splash, splash. Whoa! You're so silly. <laughs> So Gray likes coming into mom and dad's room because we have a TV and it's hooked up to our A-L-E-X-A and whenever I want to I can just turn the TV on with that and he is obsessed with, on YouTube it's called Super Simple Songs and he is obsessed with it and he just likes to lay in our bed and watch it. I try to limit that because if he wanted to he could watch it all day. And that's not very good. <laughs> He's very talkative. And I asked him before this, I said, do you want to read a book? And he said, no. <laughs> so he's learned no, and he <laughs> says it all the time now. And he is very sassy and only wants to watch TV when we should be reading books. So this is the problem that I've been having with him. Gray. Let's go read a book. Do you want to go read Sheep in a Jeep? Want to read Brown Bear, Brown Bear? Want to read Little Blue Truck? Grayson, do you think you are carrying enough apples? He can't even hold them all. I have this plate for the, all the apple slices, but he insists on holding them all. <laughs> Why? Apple. He doesn't know how to say these two. Oh, there he goes. Bye bye. bye. They're going to do it again. So I don't know if I ever gave an update on Gray. I changed him from bottles to sippy cups, gosh, a couple weeks ago, and he's been doing great with it. He asks for milk all the time. He's so cute, he calls it milk. 
and he kind of has a milk addiction so I only give him like a little bit at a time because I don't want him to have too much milk they say that can cause constipation in little kids so um, I just give him a little bit at a time but he loves it he does great he goes to bed without milk he takes naps without milk and he's been doing really great with it he likes it in the sippy cup and I like it too because it has um, like the ounces on the side so I can see how much I'm giving him each time I have given him it I'll show you I've also given him milk in this and he drinks it fine through the straw um, the only problem with this is I can't tell how much I'm giving him each time but I have given this and it works fine so yeah Gray's been doing great with the milk thing um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do once he turns two I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep him on whole milk or change him and then even if I do there's like 2% 1% in skim so it's like not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with that but I'll ask his doctor and see what she recommends I've read things online and I've heard different things um, I've heard like oh well if they're obese you should go right to skim but like I don't think he's obese he doesn't look big to me he looks normal and he's always been like 50th percentile for weight anyway and so I'm not sure if I should just keep him on whole milk or he really likes it so maybe I should go down a percent I'm not quite sure what did you guys do when your kid turned two let me know but yes right now we're sticking to whole milk he still has like two more months of being one <laughs> and then he'll turn two so anyway yeah it's been going really great and he still loves milk. Like if he could only drink milk all day every day, he would. <laughs>